Hello guys, uh, good afternoon. I'm Architect Oliver. So, ngayon ay magpapresent tayo ng sanitary and planning system um, para makatulong din sa pag-edited niya. Um, disclaimer lang, uh, I'm Architect Oliver. Hindi po tayo master plumber or sanitary uh, engineer. Ang mga ipapresent po natin dito and then yung mga i-discuss natin is uh, based lamang po dun sa uh, stock knowledge na natitira po. And meron pa tayo during the time na nag-review. So, sana ma-share ko po sa inyo ng maayos and then uh, uh, makatulong sa inyo sa pag-review. So, let's start. Sanitary and planning system. What is planning? So, uh, as defined, planning is defined as the art and science of installing pipes, pictures, uh, and other apparatus to convey and supply water in building and to dispose and discharge wastewater and other liquids, gases, and other substances out of the building in a safe, orderly, healthy, and sanitary way to ensure the health and sanitation of life and property. Another one, another definition, is the art and technique of installing pipes, fixtures, and other apparatus in a building and bringing in the supply of liquids, substances, or ingredients and removing them and such. So basically, yung planning system is pagdesign siya ng uh, ng uh, pipes, ng mga fixtures uh, para may supply natin yung water or gases uh, sa building natin, sa project natin. At the same time, para makolek din natin yung waste water and then madispose natin siya sa safe uh, safe location para hindi makapag uh, uh, kasama sa, sa tao, sa, sa environment. So, uh, going back to the history, uh, ito yung unang sinaunang uh, uh, toilet nila. No? So, unang panahon, ganyan. Yeah. So, what is the importance of the sanitary and planning system? Ang mahalaga niya, di ba? So, the one is to prevent and health risk spread of disease and contamination of drinking water, ground water, and food stops. Paano naman, siyempre, ma, well, like what uh, written there, para maging safe naman yung mga drinking water natin, yung mga, mga ginagamit natin sa pang-araw-araw. History of plumbing practice in the Philippines. So, ito yung history dito sa Pilipinas. Right? Nabasahin lang natin ito, ah. Uh, 17th century, uh, Plumbing practice in the Philippines uh, during 18th and 19th century Filipino plumbers were assigned the task to maintain, repair, and or remodel plumbing system in all pueblos or town, including churches, convent, and government building uh, during 18th and 19th century. Yeah. Illustrados, the recognized plumber or the elite groups to act as consultants. Strados. In the 20th century, arrival of the American soldiers, engineers, Thomasite teachers, doctors, and evangelists. So, health and hygiene becomes priority when epidemics, including cholera, lep leprosy, cytosomiasis, uh, and other contagious disease, diseases sa Pilipinas. No? So, naging problem yun. So, nag-ano sila ng naging priority ng health and hygiene. So, Governor General Harrison issued a letter of instruction on proper waste disposal in all municipalities. In 1902, the plumbing trade was duly recognized by the government in the city of Manila. So, Master Plumber John F. Haas became the first chief of division of plumbing, cons plumbing construction and inspection. Plumbing code based to the plumbing code of the United States was incorporated into the building code of the city of Manila. So, yun. Ang uh, basihan ng uh, plumbing system sa city of Manila is plumbing code ng United States. So, palagay ko, I think naman hanggang ngayon, no? yung mga uh, basihan natin is uh, United States. I'm, I'm not sure. So, so 1935, National Plumber 
uh, National Master Plumber Association of the Philippines, NAMPAP, was organized and had it registered with the Security and Exchange Commission, 1935. City Ordinance 2411, the Plumbing Code of the City of Manila was enacted in consultation with NAMPAP. RA 1378, Signed on June 18, 1955 by President Ramon Magsaysay. On January 28, 1959, Plumbing Law of the Philippines was promulgated and approved by Malacanang and known as a Plumbing Law on December 21, 1999 with the approval of President Joseph Ejercito Estrada. Plumbing has two main objectives. Okay? Two main objectives, first, to supply water to different parts of the building, and number two, to remove, the dis remove and discharge human waste and other substances out of the building into the plumbing, public sewer or septic tank. Condition for an effective water supply in building. One, to provide sufficient amount of water to supply each fixture. Prevent backflow of used water into the water supply system. The discharge system should accomplish the following. Number one, fast removal of the waste with the minimum probability of leakage and stoppage of drain. Number two, to prevent the entry of house vermin and obnoxious gases into the house from the piping system. Ito yung pinaprevent na yung mga foul, foul uh, air na nagagaling dun sa pipes. So, yung mga P-trap, mga foul air trap na, na nilagay natin. So, kailangan niya. Plumbing requirements for the drainage system. Number one, all pipes joint must be well fitted and tightly connected with each other to prevent leakage of gas and liquids. Number two, that the drainage pipe should be graded or inclined properly for the downward gravity flow of water towards the main sewer line or to the septic tank. So yung slope, kailangan din yung slope yung mga, yung mga pipes natin para smooth yung flow niya. So uh, madidiscuss natin later on yan, yung about this sa, sa slope kasi pag mostly uh, masyadong malaki yung slope niya, malaki din yung epekto nun sa sa waste sa waste water tsaka dun sa for example sa sa mga waste ng human waste naiiwan kasi siya pag masyadong malaki yung uh, slope ng pipes 3 the discharge system should be provided with adequate clean out accessible for repair in case of stoppage yan so pag may mga blockage yung pipe natin so kailangan ng clean out para ma-access natin yung mga pipes. So, may mga rule din yan kung saan na uh, ilalagay yung uh, mga clean out. Uh, normally, every bend, every bend ng uh, pipes, uh, change of direction, I mean, so, uh, normally doon naglalagay ng mga clean outs. So, mga dulo ng mga layout, naglalagay din yan dyan ng mga clean out. The drainage system must be provided with the ventilation pipe that will convey gases to the atmosphere where it can do no harm to human health. Yan. Kailangan din yung mga ventilation pipes sa plumbing system natin. So, kasi nakaka-apekto yan dun sa mga um, sa, sa pressure dun sa air sa loob ng uh, pipes. So, syempre, pag dinischarge natin yung air sa, sa, sa labas, it should be... Uh, uh, no harm sa mga tao. So, may mga business niyan. For example, sa mga sa mga uh, sa mga uh, window or parapet, may mga distance yan. Number five, except for water closet, fixtures shall be provided with suitable trap that will prevent backflow of gases. Ito yung mga sinasabi ko na uh, foul air trap na ginagamit natin trap minsan normally pero may mga fixtures na hindi na ginagamitan ng, uh, ng mga foul air trap for example water closet kasi built in na yung uh, trap nila 
those uh, fixtures in the smell. Number six, the drainage system must be vented to avoid siphonage of backflow of the wastewater seal. The plumbing cycle. The plumbing cycle, of course, for example, uh, source of water natin, lakes, uh, river, reservoir, okay, and then it will go to water supply, water main storage tank. Okay, after that, distribution, pressure, piping networks, then next, use or plumbing fixtures. Pag nagamit na siya, collection, gravity piping, networks, kukulik na natin siya, and then, disposal, sanitary and storm sewer. After nun, uh, treatment, may mga places na may sewage plant, natural purification, and then after nun, pabalik na naman tayo dun sa lake and river. Yeah. So, yan yung uh, plumbing cycle. No? Yeah. Treated water return to the original source. So, to begin with the study of water distribution system, let us first study and recall some of the information behind the subject. Nature of water. Yeah. Water. Uh, combination of two chemical elements called hydrogen and oxygen. Yeah. In liquid form, 844 times heavier than air. In vapor form, lighter than air. Water, in liquid form, weights approximately 3.77 kg US gallon or 1,000 kg per cubic meter. So, isa pang information dito, normally 1, uh, one, one liter of water is equal to approximately equal to 1 kilo. Yeah. So, phases of water, three major phases, evaporation, condensation, and precipitation. Yeah. So, lahat naman tayo na pag na natin to, so balikan na lang natin ng mabilis. No? Evaporation, the process of which water changes from a liquid to a gas or vapor. Yeah. Condensation, the process by which Water vapor in air is changed into the liquid water. Precipitation. Water is released from clouds in the form of rain. Rising rain, snow, or hail provides for the delivery of atmospheric water to the earth. Sources of water. Rain water. Natural surface water from stream and river, underground water, the main sources of water. Natin. So, rainwater is used in some areas where water levels in the ground are very deep or non existent. Water runoff from roofs, roof is collected in the cistern and used for the irrigation purposes. Although rainwater is relatively pure, it may be contaminated by the roof, the gutter in the downspout or the cistern. So, hindi pa siya potable, no? Natural surface water, ito yung mga water that runs in streams or is found in this depression such as lakes, reservoir, ponds, or ocean. Urban areas ordinary use surface water for their potable water sources. Yeah, kasi sa mga province, no? Uh, uh, malinis pa yung mga rivers nila doon pero hindi na hindi natin mas ano hindi natin masisigurado yun in, in this time because you know masyado nang mga madudumi ang mga natin uh, rivers na din underground water under under the surface of the earth and uh, various uh, depths for different location there is a layer of saturated ground the level of we, at which the saturated ground found is called the water table. Yeah. Nakita natin sa image. Yan, uh, may ground water, may water table tayo doon, may stream, may uh, infiltration. Ayan, later ma-discuss natin infiltration. Pump station. 
So, wells. Uh, if municip municipal water is not available, each home must have its own source sources of water. Wells are by far the most common source of water. The, ob the object uh, of the well is to make the water lying beneath the water table available for use. Yeah. Pero guys, uh, um, uh, sa pagkakaalam ko, yung mga wells, mga deep wells natin dito sa Manila, uh, is not allowed. Hindi na siya pinapayagan ng municipality as a main source of uh, water. Kasi uh, madami mga study na uh, nakaka-apekto na yun dun sa mga sa, sa, ground, sa ground natin. So, Nag-stop na yun. Seven types of water. Uh, top water, mineral water, spring water, well water, purified water, distilled water. Sparkling water. Purification of water. Ito mga way. Aration, coagulation and uh, flocculation, sedimentation, filtration, chlorination. Okay. So, yun nga. So, aration. Uh, spraying of water uh, into the atmosphere through jets or passing it over uh, rough surface to remove extreme noxious gases such as carbon dioxide or hydrogen sulfide. Yeah. Water aeration is often required in water bodies that suffer from anoxic condition, usually caused by adjacent human acti activities such as uh, sewerage discharge, agricultural runoff, or other baiting uh, a fishing leak. Yeah. So I think aeration so, oxygen level problem, uh, yeah, so, sur surface algae, aquatic weeds, and other, other will occur. So, ayan yung uh, pond with no aeration. So, the next uh, image, pond with surface aeration. Ito siya. And then, yung third natin, uh, pond with the uh, bottoms diffuser aeration and the last uh, picture surface aeration uh, water draw tube qualigation and uh, flocculation hindi natin siya uh, ano wait lang yan ok so yun Sedimentation, ito yung uh, process ng pag-filter ng water uh, by gravity siya. So, uh, normally, uh, pag uh, nag yung pumas uh, nag flow yung wastewater dyan, yung uh, solid particles yan, yung mga sludge, mga leaves, or whatsoever na heavier than, uh, heavier than water, it will go down dun sa bottom ng tank. So, yun yung way ng uh, filtration. Yeah. So, so, sedimentation pala yan. So, yung filtration, uh, so, yung pagtitreat naman niya, so, there's a layer naman. So, may, may uh, rocks, mayroon dyan na uh, sand, uh, may mga, uh, 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 what do you call that one? Uh, basta yung, yung, yung pagtitreat treatment niya is through gravity then and then by means of uh, layers yun yung uh, filtration okay chlorination so uh, dito chemicals na yung ginagamit na sa pag uh, uh, to treat ng waste water so, water supply let's talk about apparatus to convey and supply water in a building so pumps number one uh, pumps are used whenever the supply at its natural pressure cannot be directly piped to a building tank or pressure Pagamit na tayo ng uh, pumps para makapagsupply tayo dun sa building natin. In case na yung natural pressure may, uh, from dun sa main supply mo is not enough to to uh, supply the uh, water na kailangan natin dun sa building. So, lift pump uh, consists of a piston uh, tra traveling up and down uh, within a cylinder which is connected with a pipe extending down into the sources. Okay, so lip pump. 
Ito yung lip pump na doon. Again, by definition, consists of a piston traveling up and down within a cylinder which is connected with a pipe extended down into the surface. Yan. So, ito yung normally yung mga deep well. Force pump uh, used to deliver water at a point higher than the position of the pump itself. Yeah. Reciprocating pump includes the class of pump in which the piston moves to and from either horizontally or vertically. Reciprocating pump. Yeah. So either horizontal or vertical yung movement ng uh, piston para makapag-supply siya ng uh, water. No? So, ito yung uh, piston natin. So, mag, mag, uh, ano siya? Ang movement niya is uh, left and right. Vertical siya. Oh, sorry, horizontal. So, centrifugal uh, pump uh, possesses uh, moving parts without valves revolving around in axis and centrifugal action in, is uh, utilized in delivering the, wa the water under pressure. The curved blades revolving around uh, an axis and traps the water that enters and hurls in outward and centrifugal force. Russian piston so normally impeller yeah impeller yung uh, nag push dun sa water para ma-discharge yeah hydraulic ramps are automatic and uh, required no motor since they depend on operation upon water hammer that is surging back and forth in the pipe when suddenly brought to, to rest Water distribution system. The system must provide adequate supply of water with adequate pressure up to the extreme extremities of the system. The safety and quality of the water should now be impaired by defect in the system. It should be provided with the sufficient valves to allow repair uh, Repair work without undue interruption of service to some areas. There should be no unprotected open reservoir or cross connection with inferior wa water system to enter the distribution system. The water system should be tight, again leakage. The main and branches uh, connection should not be submerged in surface water or subjected to any source of contamination. The water system shall afford effective circulation of water with minimum number of dead, dead end mains. The system shall be guarded against contamination in any part of it resulting from repair works, replacement or extension of the mains. When new mains are installed, or old mains are repaired, they should be filled with a strong coloring solution of 40 to 60 mg per liter for at least 24 hours and then flush with water supplied normally from the main. As much as possible, water main should be laid above the elevation of concrete sanitary sewer or cross over pots and at least 3 meters horizontally from such sanitary sewer when they are parallel. Should this be impossible to some reason, the sewer main must be encased in concrete. Ito yung mga rules para mag uh, save yung water supply natin dun sa uh, contamination. So at least 3 meter yung uh, distance niya.
household water supply. <coughs> household water supply. So, house service, riser, branches. Yeah, household service. Refer to the pipes connection from the public sewer. Sorry, refers to the con pipe connection from the public water main or any source of water supply to the building serve. Yeah, at yung house sewer, house service pipe. Sorry, at yung house service pipe. Refer to the pipe connection from the public water main or any source of water supply to the building serve. Riser, the vertical supply pipe which extended upward from one floor to the next. Ito yung riser natin. Yan. Branches, horizontal pipes that serve the faucet or fixtures. Ito yung mga branches natin. Water main. The public water connection which are laid underground along the streets where the house service is connected. Water service fittings and devices. All types of water system must be provided with sufficient number of valves. There they are mostly needed. Valves is necessary to avert Serious damage to the installation in case of service breakdown. Where there is an insufficient number of valves installed, a major repair may, may require shutting off the entire water system. It has been observed that in some installation, certain of types of valves are used where they are not supposed to be. It is therefore necessary to know the different types of valves and their respective uses. Yeah. Yung mga valves kasi ito yung mga nagsha-shut na, nagsha down ng mga supply and para dun sa specific areas. No? So, uh, kailangan analyze siya para saan necessary yung valve na to. And, uh, for example, kasi pag may repair uh, ng mga pipes or fixtures, uh, isha-shut down natin yung valve. So, Kailangan din natin, alam natin yung purpose ng bulb at saan dapat nakalagay yung bulb. The different types of bulb used in water supply system. Gate bulb, globe bulb, angle bulb, check bulb, foot bulb, safety bulb. So, yan. Number one, gate bulb. Used to completely close or completely open the line but not necessary to control the flow of water. Is connected to the main supply and pump line where in operation is infrequent. A gate like this that moves across across the flow. So ito yung uh, plate or this na sinasabi naman. So nag up and uh, up and down siya na to, to shut uh, to, to close and open the, the line it, uh, hindi siya nagko-control ng pressure uh, nagko-control siya ng flow ng uh, water yeah. yung actual picture niya may mga sizes yan it depends dun sa size ng uh, pipes mo gate valve So here, and dito yung handwheel, may yoke, stem, packing gland, bonnet, gate, body. Yeah. Ito yung image niya pag close. Ito yung image niya pag open yung uh, verb natin. Yeah. Yun yan. Yan yung verb natin. So globe verb is actuated by a system screw and hand wheel 
situated in an installation that calls for throttling. Afford greater resistance to flow than the gate valve because of the charge change in flow direction. Yeah. Check bulb. Main function is to prevent the reversal flow of gas or liquid in the line. So principally used in industrial piping, connection of gas, water, steam, air, and other general vapor services. Yeah. Yung check bulb kasi one one way lang yung uh, flow niya. So hindi hindi na pag pumasok na yung water dun or any or water or gas uh, or any kind of vapor, hindi na siya makakabalik. Kasi one way lang yung flap niya eh. Yeah. Yan, ito yan. So, ito yung sinasabi ko. So, ito yung flap niya. So, yung direction ng water is from left to right. According to dun sa image natin uh, here also. Left to right. So, yung flap niya, mag-open lang siya pag yung wa uh, water is will move to this direction. Yeah. So, hindi na siya hindi siya papasok doon sa kabila hindi na makakabalik yung water doon sa once na nakapasok na siya doon or nakalagpas na siya doon sa flap nung nung check valve so angle valve operates in the same manner as the glow valve except it's used in making a 90 degree turn in line to reduce the number of joint yeah yun yung angle valve yeah yun ang angle valve so yung angle valve normally uh, sa uh, lavatory uh, sa wa uh, 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 water supply ng uh, uh, water closet and nang ganyan Foot valve, located at the lower end of the pump, used to prevent loss of priming the pump. Uh, actually, mali yun nga. Actually, uh, para sa akin yun. It should be located to the lower end of the pipe. Dun sa shed sa dulo ng pipe siya. So, so pag yung foot valve nasa dulo ng pipe, so from that, uh, yung pump natin and nasa, nasa taas, uh, like that, nasa taas siya. So, yung distance from the pump to the bottom ng pipe may mamimaintain na water doon so yun ang purpose ng foot bag yun yung purpose ng foot bag para mamaintain yung priming uh, to, to to prevent loss of priming of the pump para pag, pag andar ng pump may may higup siya agad na water sometimes referred to as a retention valve yung sinasabi ko normally ito yung nasa dulo siya ng pipe so pag may pipe dito so mag-maintain niya yung water hindi hindi lalabas yung water dun sa sa pipe safety valve used in a cold water system heating system compressed air lines and other pipelines with excess, excessive pressure so itong uh, safety valve yeah. May spring, bonnet, below, spindle, body, nozzle, inlet, outlet, this, like that. So, uh, yeah. Yan yung mga safety, uh, kind of mga safety valve. So, nag automatic siya, nag i siya ng uh, pressure. Yeah. By definition. Uh, using cold water system, heating system, compressed air lines, and other pipelines with excessive pressure. Other water service, fitting and devices, corporation stop, curb stop, meter stop, water meter. Corporation stop, inserted into the water main, 
serve as a control of the water service also serve as a shut off when the service is disconnected <coughs> yan ang corporation ko corporation stop ito yung corporation stop yan curb stop installed between the curb and the sidewalk line serve as a control stop of the service between the curb and the building it shut off water supply in case the basement becomes flooded yeah think curb stop yeah i think curb stop and then ito yung stop box so ya yeah, access siya dito nakikita niyo yung uh, eto tong rod na tong ano to pa, para makontrol yung pag close and pang open ng uh, curb stop yeah dito yan dito sa area na to so meter stop a controlling stop on entire water supply in a building meter stop natin. Ayan. Ito ang meter stop. Water meter. A device used to measure the amount of water that passes through the water service. Ayan. Ang water meter. So, nakikita naman natin yan. Normally, ayan yan. Ito yan. So, after nyan, lahat ng papasok na water dun sa building nyo, so, recorded na. So, Bayadan niya yan. Types of water distribution. Up feed system, pneumatic tank, and down feed system. Okay, let's start with the up feed system. From normal water pressure from public water main to low rise building. Okay. Up feed system. Ito yung water main natin. Yan, yeah, standard yan. So, yung pressure niya ito, ng water main, uh, dapat enough siya para makapag-supply ng water dun sa building. So, dun sa lugar na mahina yung uh, uh, water supply, hindi pwede yung affid system dun. So, it should be having some kind of pumps. Pneumatic tank, from air, from air pressure, uh, suction tank, uh, for tall buildings which cannot be reached by normal pressure. sinasabi natin. So, pag pumasok na yung water, su uh, water supply natin, uh, may storage tank, syempre, of course. No? So, yun yun, yung pump nyo, magbibigay siya ng supply dun sa, sa system, uh, sa plumbing layout natin, sa water supply layout natin sa building by the use, by the help of the uh, pump. Downfield system by gravity uh, from overhead tanks and are supported either by structural frame or on the roof deck. Tanks are, are installed with normal supply of water from the main public service. Pipes is not frequent. It is also used when normal pressure from the city mains is not enough to force the water to the highest fixtures. Uh, yung ito yung downfeed system normally may, yung structure natin meron siyang tank dun sa taas so yung storage ng water is nandun sa taas ng building natin so yung supply is going down that's why it call it downfeed system you know uh, ang pag susupply naman dun sa tank na yon either by natural pressure from the main water source uh, water main or kung like dun sinabi some areas na hindi nga so, enough yung uh, uh, pressure para makapagsupply dun sa, sa tank natin, sa taas so, uh, after nun meron silang pump na ginagamit para makapagsupply ma, ma, ma ng water dun sa tank natin then, yun ang storage natin ng water, then ang system of uh, supplying to the building is downfield yan yan, yan. so Ito yung mga pumps, so from water supply. Ito yung another option na, uh, first, if possible, yung 
natural pressure ng uh, water pump the water main is makakapag-supply na siya ng water doon sa tank natin sa taas. You don't need to have a pump like this. Okay? Pero, like what I said, it's necessary pa rin kung yung pressure ng water from uh, water main is not enough. So, magkakaroon tayo ng pumps dito and then magsusupply siya ng water dun sa tank natin and uh, automatic din yun. So, it should be uh, shutting off also yung pump natin pag nag-reach na yung uh, maximum level ng water from that tank. So, pag nandun yung water natin, ang supply natin is down feed. So, going down na siya. By gravity na siya ulit. Yeah? Supplies water to the plumbing fixtures by means of gravity. Water is pumped to the large tank on top of the building and distribute the water to the different fixtures. Though this is considered as one of the oldest type, many planners and builders still favor its use because of the following advantage it offers. Advantage because of the what because of the water storage inside the tank. Water supply distribution is not affected by the peak load course, even if the pressure at the water main becomes considered considerably low. Power interruption will not in any matters, a manner affecting the water supply inside the building. So, pag nandun yung water, water natin, uh, wala, nang, wala nang problema eh. Kahit na power, walang power, um, power interruption, we have a water supply, you know? In case of uh, pumping unit breakdown, the required to replace part will not affect the regular supply of water. Yeah, of course, because may water na tayo dun sa taas eh. So, in case na kailangan palitan yung uh, pump natin sa baba, mapapalitan siya without interrupting the water supply ng main building natin. This type of water distribution in building is fast becoming unpopular because of its disadvantage also. May mga disadvantage din siya. Okay? Disadvantage. The water inside the tank is exposed to the natural element of weather such as contamination. The water distribution unit has many working parts that require higher maintenance cost. The pumping unit and the entire installation throughout the building occupies valuable spaces. So, yeah. It requires a strong foundation and other structure to sustain the heavy load of the tank and its water content. Well, of course, the bigger the tank, the heavier the tank. And yung uh, weight ng tank, yung weight ng water natin, so it should be calculated by the structural engineer. Papasok na yung mga civil and structural engineer sa pagkakalculate na. Uh, yeah, like what uh, they said, yeah, magkoconsume siya ng space instead na uh, another uh, usable space ang magamit mo, wala. Ilalagay mo siya para, para gagamitin mo yung space niya for the storage ng tank mo. Effects in water distribution system, water hammer. Water hammer is a knocking in the pipes caused when faucet in the lower level are shut off. Shut off automatically. The force exer exerted by the decelerating water causes the pipe to shake and rattle. Yeah. Back siphonage. Back siphonage, the flowing back of used, contaminated, or polluted water from the plumbing fixtures or vessels into a water supply pipe due to negative pressure in such pipe. Backflow, the flow of water or other liquids, mixtures or substances into the building, into the distributing pipes of the potable supply of water to a tank, plumbing fixtures or other services, and the flood level ring of the receptacles. Valve closed water still. Valve open moving water. Yeah. Again, when it closed, 
nagbabaybay siya. So, that is called water hammer. distribution system defect in water distribution system expansion contraction pipes expand and contract due to continuous change in temperature an air space should be provided to allow the breathing room friction head loss friction occurs when liquid flowing through the pipes makes contact with the pipes enclosure thus Reducing, reducing the speed of water flow. There is a greater friction head loss with longer pipes, small diameter pipes, and the high hammer of valves and of fittings. <coughs> friction in fitting of valve applied fluid dynamics. Yeah. So, that's it. Yung friction loss, uh, madama, may calculation kasi yun eh. So, uh, Sa as far as I know, nakaka, ang mga uh, nakaka-affect doon sa calculate, ang uh, mga nakaka-affect doon is yung length ng pipe, uh, diameter ng pipe, and then yung mga bends niya, how many bends, what kind of bends, 90 degrees or 45 degrees, uh, meron din niya na uh, height. So lahat yung mga factors na yun, nakaka-affect yun sa uh, friction head loss. So, like what I said, hindi ko po alam paano i-calculate yun. Let's discuss disposal and discharge water, wastewater, and other liquid gases and other substances out of the building in a safe, orderly, healthy, and sanitary way to ensure the health and sanitation of life and property. Drainage system. Okay. Drainage system, the collection and safe disposal of human waste are among the most critical problem of environment health. Daily average volume of human waste or uh, excreta per capita is about 80 grams of faces and 950 grams of urine. Drainage system, the four major components of the drainage system. Sanitary or soil drainage system. The piping that convey the discharge of water, closet, or fixtures having similar function containing fecal matter with or without the discharge from other fixtures. <coughs> so, pag may human waste na siya, sanitary or soil drainage system. Yeah. Yeah. Waste drainage system. The piping that receive the liquid discharge from framing pictures other than water closet or it is free of fecal matter so pag walang human waste waste drainage system siya. vent system the pipe the piping installed to pro provide flow of air to and from the drainage system or to provide a circulation of air within such system to protect traps seal and siphonage and back pressure yun napaka importante ng vent system kasi siya yung Nagkakon, pag wala kang um, uh, vent, ang daming magiging problema dun sa uh, system mo, sa, sa plumbing layout mo. So, uh, seal trap loss, water loss dun sa trap, dun, uh, water loss or dun sa trap mo, uh, siphonage, and back pressure, yan, may, may encounter mo yan. Storm drainage system, the piping system that receive clear water discharge from leader, downspout, service runoff, ground water, subsurface water, condensate water, cooling water, or other similar discharge and convey them to the point of disposal. All sanitary waste must not be included in this system. Yeah. Yung uh, storm drain system naman natin, yun, separate siya. Normally sa mga rainwater siya. So, hindi siya uh, wastewater from uh, from uh, Toilet or lavatory or water closet, separate siya. Yeah. So, yung, hindi, yung mga pipes na yun, hindi natin pwede i-connect sa storm drainage system. The drainage system. Terms and definition of the
DWV system. Building drain is that part of the lowest horizontal piping of the drainage system which receive and discharge from, from soil, waste, and other drainage pipe inside the walls of the building and convey it to the building sewer beginning 600 mm outside the building wall. It, it also known as house drain. Yeah. Building sewer is that part of the horizontal piping of the drainage system which starts from the end of the building drain and receive the discharge of the building drain and convey it to the public sewer, private public sewer, private sewer, individual sewerage, disposal system, or other po point of disposal. House sewer is that part of the plumbing system extending from the house drain at a point of 600 mm from the outside face of the foundation wall of the building to conjunction with the street sewer or to any point of discharge and conveying the discharge of one building site. Drain system. Yeah. Okay. Okay, so ito, plan siya. Say say na din. Vent system, main vent, stuck and vent stuck through roof, VSTR. Yeah. Sanitary drainage system, soil pipe from water closet and other fixtures. Private treatment facility, septic tank, digestive chamber and leaching chamber. And then after none, uh, point of disposal for the sanitary waste, tap to public sewer. Grey water naman, uh, storm drainage system, downspout, catch basin, and storm pipe. Yeah. Waste discharge system, waste pipe from kitchen sink, point of disposal from storm water. <clears throat> waste pipe, a pipe which conveys only waste water or liquid waste free of fecal matter. Waste pipe. Soil pipe. Any pipe which convey the discharge of water closet, urinal, or fixtures having similar function with or without the discharge from other fixtures to the building drain or building sewer. <coughs> soil stock pipe. A vertical soil pipe conveying fecal matter and waste water. Yeah. Soil stock na siya. Pag sa uh, water supply, riser. Sa drainage system, soil stock pipe. Vent pipe. Pipe or opening used to ensuring the circulation of air in the plumbing system and for relieving the negative pressure exerted on the trap seal. Vent stock. The vertical pipe. Installed primarily for providing circulation of air to and from any parts of the soil. Waste of the drainage system. Stuck vent through roof. V SVTR. <coughs> the uppermost end of the stuck vent above the roof. Branch vent. Horizontal vent connecting one or more individual vertical back vents with the vent stuck or stuck vent drainage system yeah. <coughs> so at the end so yeah at the end uh, bathtub, lavatory, water closet just for example no? for clean out, kitchen sink, for clean out Clean out, ito yung pag um, uh, may uh, need blockage, dito, na, dito tayo, mag, um, may slope, 
vent stack, waste stack, soil stack. So, soil stack kasi ito yung may uh, uh, human waste siya, fecal matter. And then this one, waste stack siya, so which is without fecal matter. So, vent stack through roof, VSTR, and then roof gutter, downspout, storm leader, and yan. So, ito yung uh, branch natin, soil. Branch unit, branch bent, vent stock, vent stock roof. Okay. So, traps. Traps permits wastewater to enter the drainage system. Permit waste and, uh, uh, sorry. Trap permits waste and wastewater to enter the drainage system and prevent any sewer gases from preventing the house. The water seal utilizes the, the portion of the wastewater to act as a barrier. Okay. Ito yan. Nakikita nyo itong mga, ito yung mga P-trap na ito. Yan, 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 yan. Yan, P-trap na yan. Sa, dito, may water yan eh. Yan. Yan yung tinatawag na traps. Yan. So, na-allow niya yung paglabas ng tubig. Pero, dito kasi, may gas to eh. Yan, itong main pipe na ito eh. Yung soil, tuck, soil stock lines na yan. So, may, pag, may gases yan. So, yung traps natin, yung water na nandito, siya yung nagiging barrier para hindi makapasok yung, makabalik yung bad air or, yeah, bad air para lumabas dito sa floor drain natin. So, ito yung clean out. Wastewater line, carrying uh, wastewater such as <clears throat> here din grease uh, food scrap etc because of this function clean out should be located so that the entire system can be open up if necessary and then clean out natin ok vents vents protect the water seal in trap and permitted them uh, to operate effectively by admitting air to the system vents permit atmospheric pressure on both sides of the trap seal to be maintained and permit air to enter at the same time uh, as gases escape the drainage system. Yeah. Soil stock and lines are bigger in diameter than the waste line except that ground floor or basement. DWV D drainage W waste V ventilation DWG termini terminologies the drainage waste and ventilation venting system provides for the collection of sanitary soil solid particles and waste fluid within the building and the discharge of those product outside the building to septic system yeah Drain, waste, and ventilation system. Horizontal drain pipe. Trap arm. Waste stack. Also vent for the toilet. And the ventilation system. <coughs> Drainage pipe. Pipe installation that receive and convey discharge from water closet with or without waste coming from other fixtures. Waste pipe. Any pipe in a drainage installation that receive the discharge of any fixtures except for water closet. Vent pipe. Plumbing system functions as an air passage and conduit to ventilate the drainage and waste pipe installation. <coughs> to anyone, the word plumbing connotes fixtures and piping installation that will supply water and dispose waste in a various form. Waste has two types. Solid waste, discharged by water closet. Liquid waste, 
coming from various fixtures. These types of waste are also conveyed and disposed of by two types of drainage system. Waste pipe, soil pipe, ito, soil pipe siya. And then that waste pipe. House drain. Waste pipe is any pipe that conveys waste from various fixtures other than water closet. Soil pipe, pipes that conveys what waste from water closet. But, unlike the waste pipe, that is exclusively to receive discharge from the fixtures only. The soil pipe can accept both waste from the water closet and the fixtures. Soil branch refers to the horizontal pipe affixed by the word soil, which connotes a pipe receiving discharge from waste water. <coughs> On the other hand, if the branch does not receive discharge from a water closet but from other fixtures only, it will be classified as waste pipe. Yeah. Soil stop is a vertical pipe installation where the soil branches terminates. Stock installed vertically. Waste stock is a vertical pipe that receives weights from waste pipe. Soil stock waste stock waste stock soil stock <coughs> location of clean out waste pipe installation must be provided with an ample number of clean outs strat strat strategically located to be open in case of pipeline trouble. Cleanout is a receptacle or plumbing system accessible on floors, walls, or ceiling. It is either equipped with a plug or a flash plate, so designed not to impair the aesthetically view of the room. <coughs> yeah. Clean out. Clean out. Slope or grade of soil waste pipe. Ideal position of horizontal piping is the 2% slope, 20 mm inclined ratio per meter length. 2%. Horizontal pipe with a pitch of more than 2% has a tendency of waste separation. The water floor plaster and heavy suspended materials are left and deposited at the bottom of the pipe. Yeah. Soil waste, water, soil waste, water, solid waste, water, yeah. Excessive pitch waste, left. Pag masyado ma iba yung slope natin, yung solid waste, naiiwan siya eh. Yeah. So normally, 2% para smooth yung flow ng water natin together with yung solid waste. Yeah? 2%. Recommended size of waste pipe. For sink waste, 38mm to 50mm. Slap sink, 75mm or 100mm. Sculare sink, 50mm. Pantry sink, 38 millimeter. Factory sink, 50 millimeter. Bathtub, 38 millimeter to 50 millimeter. Lavatories, 50 millimeter. Shower bath, 
50 millimeter. Urina, 50 millimeter. Laundry tubs, 38 millimeter to 50 millimeter. Drinking fountain, 32 millimeter. Hospital fixtures, 50 millimeter. Scolari sink, yan ang image ng scolari sink. Pantry sink. Ventilation. Main soil and waste vent. The portion of the soil top stuck above the highest installed fixtures branch extending through the roof serve as a terminal for the main vent and other vent of the system. Main vent serve as a terminal for the smaller form of the individual and group fixture structure ventilation, sometimes called collecting vent line. Yeah. Yeah. Main vent extended through the roof. Waste vent stuck. Waste vent. Ventilation. Unit vent. Portion of the vent pipe system that ventilates two fixture strap that discharge into sanitary cross with deflection. Circuit or loop vent. Okay, wait. Unit vent, portion of vent pipe system that ventilates two pictures that traps that discharge into sanitary cross with the deflection. I think unit vent. Yeah, I think unit vent now then. Yeah? Yeah, unit vent. Unit vent. Circuit or loop vent. It is employed where two or more fixtures trap are installed on horizontal soil or waste branch commonly used in building with more facilities and battery of fixtures. Vent stack installed between the second and third fixtures as a precaution in case the soil branch becomes clogged. The third fixtures circuit vent or loop vent. <clears throat> the portion of the drain system which ventilates two or more fixtures that that discharge into the soil or waste branch. Relief vent installed to ventilate the soil and waste pipe and the connecting branches rather than the fixture strap. No specific rules have been formulated yet. Thus, the installation depends upon the good judgment of the plumber. To, to wherever the back pressure is most li likely occurs. Relief vent. Relief vent. Relief vent. Relief vent. A portion of the vent pipe installation that permits additional circulation of air around the drainage pipe to eliminate back pressure. <coughs> Yoke or bypass vent. A relief vent installed at three to three to five floor intervals. Yoke vent. Yoke vent. Loop vent. One type of ventilation used on fixtures on fixtures in a room away from partition. Not practical but sometimes tolerated only when other methods of ventilation could not be possible. Yeah. <clears throat> so, I think loop vent. Loop vent, a method of ventilation used in fixtures which are located in the room away from partition. Wet 
ventilation. Vent pipe system where liquid waste regular, regularly flow. <coughs> Wet vent. Traps and vent. Traps. The only separation between the unpleasant and dangerously unhealthy gases in a sanitary drainage system and the air breathed by room occupants is the water caught in the fixture strap after each discharge from fixtures. Ito yung image ng walang trap. So, yung... Uh, bad smell na manggagayon dun sa sa pipe makakalabas siya dun sa fixtures natin and this one naman is with may vent may trap siya pero wala siyang ano so makakapasok yung gas pa rin ha kasi wala siyang water eh yeah? walang trap trap a minimum depth of 2 inch 50 mm and a maximum of 4 inch 100 mm are commonly standard for water seal yeah so ito na yung image natin kanina kanina wala siyang water seal so makakapasok pa din yung air so now there's a uh, water seal here so yung air natin which will coming from the pipe hindi na siya makakalabas to the fixtures kasi yung water is the barrier for that smell yeah, from that uh, gas so water seal normally 50 mm to 100 mm yung crown crown anywhere and yeah, clean out plug When pictures are not often used, the water in the trap can evaporate into the air, breaking the seal of the trap, especially in the floor drain which are connected to soil piping. Foul odor will emanate in the air. The trap should be always filled with water. Trap and seal traps, ito ah, may kitchen sink, may trap dito, okay, two laundry trays. Trap seal loss, trap seal loss is due to an inadequate ventilation of the trap wherein the atmospheric minus of plus pressure affect the installation. Trap seal, the vertical distance between the trap and the crown wheel of the trap. Ito yung seal. Crown wheel. And this is the dip. So the distance from dip to the crown wheel is the water seal. Trap seal loss may be due to the following. Siphonic, siphonage. Back pressure. Evaporation. Capillary action. So, siphonage, the result of minus pressure in the drainage system. When the seal, when the seal is lost, backflow of gases from the sewer line or septic tank will pass into the traps, find its way to the fixture drain outlet and spread into the room. Yeah. Back pressure. This condition is caused by the plus pressure, which blows the water out of the fixtures. Happen usually when the large flow of water drop and form a slug and compress the air inside the pipe. The compressed air will find its way out and the trap seal will give way and the blow out of the fixtures. Yeah. Yeah. So, So, may pressure yung dito. So, yung may air pa siya dyan eh. Compressed air. So, 
Although yung water closet natin is may uh, um, built-in trap. So, magpo-push siya doon. Boom. Uh, uh, magpo-flow yung water doon. So, yan yung back pressure. Evaporation. The process is a minor problem and less probable to the drain of wa 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 water inside the trap. Evaporation happens only on floor drains. Not regularly used to admit water but in ex exposure to extreme temperature. Evaporation. Normally, ito yung cost ng um, one of the cost ng water seal. Capillary action. This kind of trap seal loss seldom happen. It's rarely experienced by homeowners. Yeah. This condition is caused by the suspension of foreign objects such as string, rugs, strand of hair, and such extended over the outlet arms of trucks. Yeah. So, ito yung capillary action, right? So, ito may water seal tayo dito. O, pero mayroong mga rag, may rags dito, mayroong ear or any other. So, string ng rags niyan. So, nag dumadaan dum, nagpo-flow pa din yung water doon. So, nag 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 na, na nawawala yung water seal doon sa trap. Air gaps. The proximity of sewage and to uh, potable water as fixtures in, in except, inescapable. It is possible that sewage, sewage could accidentally be siphoned into pipe carrying a potable water. <clears throat> Plumbing material, plus iron pipes. The most popular and gener generally specified material for drainage system in building. Durable, conveniently installed, and, and uh, answer to most plumbing's, plumbing needs in all types of build building less than 25 story high. Types, SB type, generally used for building installation. XB type, heavy duty pipes used for underground installation. Yeah, cast iron pipes. Cast iron pipes affected by corrosion caused by the action of carbon dioxide, sulfur oxide, and methane gases forming solution of carbonic acid and sulfuric acid. This acid attacks the, mat the ma met metallic material causing slow chemical reaction or oxidation to take place forming ferrous oxide called rust. Commercial length is 150 centimeter long with various diameter ranging from 50 mm to 150 mm with the following types. Standard pipe, single hub, double hub, hubless pipe. Standard pipe, used for well-fitted hub and spigot connection. Single hub, recommended when the length of the pipe needed is more than 150 centimeter long wherein cutting is not necessary. Double hub preferred when a piece of pipe needed is shorter than 150 centimeter. When, when pipe is cut, both ends have has hub to serve as a joint connection. Standard pipe used in lieu in the single hub to do away with the caulking of joint. It is cheaper and, and easily connected using a new, new neoprene rubber sleeve. Yeah. Groove in hub help prevent leak, lead working out of pipe. Oh boom, after it's cooled into annular space. Cast iron pipe, acid resistant cast iron pipe made from alloy of cast, cast iron and silicon, widely used in chemical laboratories inside and other installation where acid waste are being discharged. Basically brittle, in characterized and regular, requires a strong support for each pipe installed horizontally to prevent sagging of joint. Number two, bituminous fiber sewer pipe. The cheapest among the sewer pipes, sometimes recommended for house sewer and for septic tanks installation. Light, light in weight, slightly flexible, 
which could take slight soil movement without danger of cracking or pulling out from its joint. However, excessive hot water or chemical flow may soften or damage the pipe. Bituminous fiber sewer pipe. Vitrified clay pipe. One of the oldest material used for sewer lines. Highly resistant to most acid waste. Made out of clay, cast into length of 75 cm, treated with glazing compound, physical properties is brittle and should not be laid on under an unstable ground base. Durable material for underground installation like public sewer, house sewer, or storm drain. Vitrified clay pipes. L lead pipe. Also one of the oldest plumbing material used by Egyptian, Greeks, and the Romans. Highly resistant to acid and is suitable for underground installation but poisonous and in the injurious to human health. It is never used to convey water for human consumption. Galvanized steel pipe. Made out from mild steel, drawn through a die and welded, cast in 6 meter long. Easily corroded by alkaline and acid water. Carbonic acid in water stack, the zinc coating, and ultimately the steel itself. Deteriorate faster when used as hot water supply line. Galvanized steel pipes. Galvanized wrought iron pipes, better in quality than steel pipes for plumbing installation, more resistant to acid waste than the steel pipe. Brass pipe, one of the most expensive type of pipe, made of an alloy or zinc and copper mixed at 15% and 85% proportion respectively. Because of smooth interior surfaces and high resistance to acid, brass pipe became a superior material for waste and water supply installation. Copper pipes, durable and extremely corrosive resistant material. Easy to, easy to install compared with other pipes. Copper pipes. Three types of copper pipes, K-type, heaviest, L-type, lighter than K, available both in rigid and flexible form, M-type, Athenius and available only in a rigid form. Types of copper supply pipe. Plastic or synthetic pipe. New concept in the field of plumbing introduced in the Philippines at the early part of the 70s, although this type of material was developed in Germany in the mid-year of 1935, superior in sewer and cold water pipeline. Types of plastic or synthetic pipe, rigid type, flexible type, rigid type or plastic pipes are polyvinyl chloride, Chlorinated polyvinyl chloride and plasticide polyvinyl chloride, acrylonitrile butanid sterine ABS, polypropylene PP, sterine rubber plastic. Ito yung mga materials, general properties, recommended use. Pressure, pressure not applied, and typical assembly or joining methods. Print screen na lang guys and uh, pakibasa na lang. Flexible type of, pl of plastic pipes are polyethylene, polyethylene, polybutylene, 
in coil form available at 30 meter long. Plastic or synthetic pipes advantages. Most resistant to rust and corrosion. Number two, water conveyed has no pipe taste. Number three, extremely smooth interior surfaces prevents the building up of skill, rust, and pouring material that often imp impedes flow through the metallic pipes. Four. There is no turbulence of water and therefore has a minimum resistance to flow. 5. PVC pipes and fittings weigh only one fifth of the metal pipe. They are easily installed through solvent cementing. Plastic pipes are cast in longer lengths and easy to cut as well as to install. Number 7. PE is a flexible material that weighs around one eight as much as the steel pipes. PVC pipes can be connected to existing metal pipes using a threaded adapter. PVC is a bitter acid proof to any chemical use in recommended strength around the home. No special tools needed for installing PVC except a rule to measure and so to cut. You can do it by yourself. Joints and connection. Pressure tests on joints and connection of pipes and fittings in the plumbing system shall be required to ensure gas tight and water tight connection. For balanced pigot cast iron soil pipes and other similar joints shall be firmly packed with oakum and hemp and filled with molten pig lead to a depth of not less than 25.4 mm. Yeah. Threaded joints. For iron pipe size, pipe and fitting shall be standard tapered pipe threads. Threaded joints. Fittings. 1 6 bend, 1 8 bend, bends, 90 degree bend. 90 degree, 90 degree long sweep bend, 90 degree reducing bend. Cups, 45 degree elbow, 90 degree elbows, this reducing couplings, union, coupling and adapter coupling, flanges, plugs. Y branch, double Y branch, T branch, short radius 1 8 bend, long radius 1 4 bend, reducer, increaser. Rating T, sanitary Y and street 1 8 bend, sanitary combo. Sanitary tea. Sanitary tea may not be installed when the, when the side opening up. Male adapter. Female adapter. Nipple, bushing, union, coupling, cup, plug. Teflon tape. Sewage disposal system. Four types. The cesspool, the privy, 
the septic tank, the public sewer length. Cesspool, obsolete, hole in the ground curved with stone bricks, concrete hollow blocks, or other material laid in such a manner as to allow raw contaminated sewage to leach into the soil. Organic waste accumulate and finally dispose of by this degradation process. Cesspool. 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 Privy. Also obsolete. Concrete sealed vault with a wooden shelter constructed for the collection of raw sewage the dis the disintegration of excrement is accomplished in the same manner as in cesspool. It is objectable, objectionable because of the danger of contaminating the source of water supply. Privy. Privy. Septic tank, a device or receptacle used to expedite the decomposition of the elements contained in a raw sewage waste. Raw sewage consists of water and settable solid called organic material that can be precipitated in a septic tank in a very short time. Septic tank is a receptacle or vault used to collect organic waste discharged from the house sewer. The main function of the septic tank is to liquefy and precipitate solid waste purifying odorless material. Septic tank. Septic tank. Sewage that was discharged into the tank is retained. And during its retention period, about 60% to 70% of the suspended solid of the sewage is removed largely by sedimentation to form semi-liquid substance called sludge. Part of the solid are formed into flowing, floating scum. Location consideration, minimum distance of 2 meter from the outside wall. As much as possible, the septic tank should not be located closer to the doors and window. Septic tank should be at least 15 meters away from source of water supply. The tank design construction consideration. Septic tank, the watertight receptacle which received the discharge of sanitary plumbing system or part thereof, designed and constructed to retain solid, digest organic matter through a period of detention and to allow the liquid to discharge into the soil outside of the tank through a system or open jointed subsurface piping or a seepage pit meeting the requirements of the plumbing code. The inlet compartment shall not be less than two-thirds of the total capacity of the tank, nor less than two cubic meter liquid capacity. Minimum length of 1,500 1, millimeter. Minimum width of 900 mm. The outlet compartment shall have a minimum capacity of 1 cubic meter and a maximum capacity of one third of the total capacity of the septic tank. The vault and chamber are bented through the sanitarities of this inlet and outlet having the top end open and screened to make the tank mosquito-proof. 228.6 mm minimum air space or pre -board. Liquid depth, 600 mm. Minimum to 1,800 mm maximum. The bottom of the tank should slope 1 to 10 towards the center of the below the manhole facility facilitate cleaning. No septic tank shall be constructed or installed within, uh, under, within or under a house. This is under Section 233 of the 1959 Philippine National Plumbing Code. 
manhole. The minimum number of manhole is 2 with a minimum dimension of 508mm by 508mm placed over the inlet and the outlet. If the septic tank is over 6 cubic meter, then the minimum length of the secondary compartment shall be 1,500 mm. The secondary compartment minimum capacity of 1 cubic meter or maximum of one-third of the total capacity of the septic tank. Inlet pipe and fitting. Use 105 Inlet pipe and fitting use 104.6 mm diameter minimum. Inlet and outlet pipe shall extend at least 101.6 mm above the water surface. 304.8 minimum depth of inlet and outlet pipe below the water surface. The invert of the inlet pipe shall be at least 50.8 mm above the invert of the outlet pipe. Outlet pipe and fittings use 104.6 mm diameter minimum. Public sewer line. The public sewer system operated and maintained by the government consisting of a sewage treatment plant that conveys the raw sewage from building and houses to a disposal system. Classified into three types. Storm drain, sanitary sewer, combination public sewer, A public sewer facility that carries regular sanitary waste only. Rainwater is not permitted to enter into this type of public sewer. Sanitary sewer. Combination public sewer is the oldest type of public sewer that conveys both storm water and sanitary waste. This type of public sewer is already obsolete and no longer allowed by the sanitary authorities. Plumbing fixtures, water closet, Various type with respect to design. Pail flush type, squat type, wash down type, reverse type, siphon jet, siphon vortex, direct flush bulb type. Pail flush type. The cheapest, the smallest, and the simplest form of water closet designed without water tank. Some called it, this is a mini closet intended for installation of very limited space and budget. <coughs> Squat type, another simple type of water closet without tank installed flat on the floor. Wash down pipe. Wash down pipe. This efficient, noisiest, less expensive, bulging front. Flush through a simple wash down action. Discharge waste into a trapway located the front bowl. Wash down pipe. Reverse type, more expensive than wash down, 
flushed through a siphon action created in the trapway at the rear of the bowl. Moderately noisy. The burst trap. Siphon jet type. Expensive and more efficient. Large amount of standing water. Large trapway costs less clog and flushing action is silent than other types. Very sanitary and easier, easier to clean. Siphon jet. Siphon vortex type, very efficient and less noisy. Most expensive flushing type by Whirlpool Action. It has large amount of standing water almost covering the whole bowl interior. Very sanitary and easier to clean. Direct flush bulb type. In places where water is ab abundant and the pressure is high, flushing action can be obtained directly from the flush bulb connected into the bowl. Found in commercial and institutional installation. Direct flush bulb type. Lavatories. A bowl or basin used for washing face and hands. Lavatories. Bathtub. Bathtubs. Bidet. Designed for cleaning the most precious, delicate, and well guarded part of the female body. The ultimate personal hygiene. Also serve as a foot bath or any function that. A lower set of bowl might perform. Bidet. Bidet. Urinal. Kitchen sink. Others. Grease trap, normally itong grease trap, uh, nagtatrap siya ng mga uh, fats from kitchens, uh, cooking oil, fats from meats, pr uh, fats from vegetables, so there's a separate uh, uh, line uh, piping from there going to the grease trap. So, yung sa mga large hotels, dapat ang design ng mga sa kitchen areas nila is separately, it will go to the grease trap. Catch basin. Roof drain. So, Plumbing trap, feed trap, bottle trap, drum trap, normally for bat, uh, bathtubs yan, drum trap, bottle trap, sa uh, sink pit trap for kitchens kitchen sink yeah. running trap s trap yeah. oh, cool. scullery sink bar sink Cistern
pipe color coding uh, screenshot nyo na lang guys and then uh, analyze nyo na lang yung color coding nito ng pipes it's very important then standard symbol for plumbing <coughs> So, dapat familiar tayo dito sa mga uh, symbols nito para doon sa plan reading. Sa plan reading talaga, kailangan ito yung mga symbols na ganyan. Although may mga legend naman tayo doon sa normal plans natin. Pero kasi sa board exam, walang mga legend. Third symbols of plumbing. Same of plumbing layout. Sample of plumbing layout. So, yan. Kitchen sink. Water heater. Lavatory. Floor drain. Water closet. So guys, uh, yun, natapos na tayo dun sa sanitary and plumbing system natin. Uh, I hope uh, may na na nakuha ko yung idea kahit na konti lang dun sa mga slide na pinasent natin. So, if I still have time, magagawa pa ulit tayo ng mga ganitong mga slide and then para makatulong sa pag-review nyo. So, guys, good luck and thank you for listening. Bye-bye.